elasticity of labor demand, measure the responsiveness of demand for labor, to a change in the wage rate to you or your neighbor. There are three types of elasticities of labor demand own wage elasticity of substitution and cross wage together they stand an important question rises it must be noted are workers paid what they're worth or are they exploited own wage elasticity is percentage change in employment rate caused by a change in the wage weight you need to calculate the elasticity of labor demand can range from zero, in which case quantity of labor demand effect will be the same row, or it can be hypothetically minus infinity, 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 in which case demand schedule would be graphed horizontally. horizontally. Labor elasticity will explain it brilliantly. Wages done never your ability. It all depends on utility. Cinema. The demand for labor is less elastic when the price elasticity of demand is lower than Atlantis. When it's difficult to substitute other factors for labor in a world full of committed workers chasing that paper. Furthermore, when labor's share of cost is low, man. A weight change will leave workers frozen, like a snowman. The effects of weight changes will be less drastic whenever the supply of labor substitute is inelastic. These are the determinants of Marshall Hicks. If you don't believe me, ask Mr. Chad Briggs. Labor elasticity will explain it brilliantly. Wages don't measure your ability, it all depends on utility. Labor elasticity will explain it brilliantly. Wages don't measure your ability, it all depends on utility. Firms employ many types of workers, some more specialized than others, like jokers. You can think of these types as skilled and unskilled labor. What happens to their employment when wages go skyscraper? To know this thing, we need a new type of elasticity. Just like Donald Trump needs some publicity. To get this number firsthand, let's introduce the cross elasticity of labor demand. Its importance to firms is imperative, and its sign can range from positive to negative. Cross elasticity is greater than zero. A high wage or skilled labor will make a no skilled labor. Labor elasticity. We'll explain it brilliantly. Wages don't measure your ability. It all depends on utility. Cinema! Then workers are said to be gross substitutes. They may be switched like shirts and jeans for suits. This is a case when workers are more competitive. Please, the sign of cross elasticity is definitely positive. When cross elasticity is smaller than zero, smaller wages will make everyone get hired like De Niro. When workers are said to be gross complements, they go together like fish and chips, no arguments. This is a case when workers are more cooperative, the sign of cross elasticity is definitely negative. Labor elasticity will explain it brilliantly. Wages don't measure your ability. It all depends on utility. The elasticity of substitution is noted by Sigma. Its implication for businesses is not an enigma. It tells you how the capital to labor ratio rises, brought about by a change in relative factor prices. In order for all of this to make sense though, output must remain constant, it cannot make flow. Cinema. If you still don't understand this basic fact, all it does is measure the substitution effect.